a determination of refraction through glass slab or vertical shift experiment materials required chart protractor scale pencil glass slab drawing pins and needles procedure take a glass slab and measure the thickness of the slab take a white chart and fix it on the wooden plank place the slab in the middle of the chart draw a line around it remove the slab from its place the lines from the rectangle name the vertices of it as a b c and d draw a perpendicular to the longer line ab of the rectangle at any point on it take a needle place at a point p in such a way that its length is parallel to the ab line on the perpendicular line at a distance of 15 cm from the slab place a slab again in the rectangle abcd now take another needle and by seeing at the first needle from the other side of the slab try to keep the needle so that it forms a straight line with the first needle remove the slab and observe the position of the needles they are not in the same line draw a perpendicular line from the second needle to the line on which the first needle is placed take the intersection point as q the distance between p and q is vertical shift earlier we done experiment with the distance of 15 cm now we repeat the same experiment with 12 cm for the both cases the vertical shift will be same what we observe though the distance is different vertical shift will be the same that is 0.6 cm for both cases we will get the same vertical shift placing needle at different distances refractive index of the glass slab is equal to thickness of the glass slab by thickness of the slab minus vertical shift that is the thickness of the slab minus vertical shift so we already measured the thickness of the slab in the earlier that is 1.8 cm is the thickness of the slab 1.8 by one thickness of the slab is 1.8 minus vertical shift we got it for both cases is 0.6 then 1.8 divided by 1.2 is equal to 0.9 by 0.6 that equal to 3 by 2 that is the refractive index of the glass slab 